There we go. Oh my goodness. I feel like it has been a hot minute. So, excuse my face. I feel like it has been a hot minute since I last made a video. Oops. But I've been a little busy. So I didn't get to do a reading vlog last Sunday, but I I got my room redecorated. So last Sunday I spent with my dad just taking everything out and he painted the skirting boards and then on Tuesday I got a new carpet oh my hair I got a new carpet it's nice and grey it's really soft I got new ugh, I got a new units I really like I really like that design I got this one as well and then this little one and then I got this bed too I I love the velvet. I got the new bed. I always had a single bed in my room, now I have a double, so that's great. Um, and I also got another unit here. So last Sunday was literally spent like gutting up my room. I walked the dog and I only read a little bit. And I guess I've just been really busy this week because my furniture came on Tuesday. So I've been just getting everything like back in order, moving everything back into my room. I have currently no bookcases for any of my books so they're all still packed away the only ones that i actually have are in this <laughs> low box here these are my kind of still to read we'll call it a tbr i guess it's basically well there's one at the bottom i've actually finished but these are just some books that i got recently i don't know why i've got bookmarks about these are just a couple of books that i still have to read and so I brought them in. I brought them back into the house and they have chances that I got a chance to read them, but I just haven't had time at all yet. I've just been so distracted. So I'm still currently reading the same book that I was last Sunday, which I don't know if you know it, but The Guilty, the Guilty Friend by Joanne Sefton. I'm only, I lost my bookmark, I'm only about 50 pages in, so hopefully today I will try and just read and read lots and maybe I'll try and finish it in a day because I have so much that I want to do. I want to start reading the Twilight books and I'm going to try and do them in March because like it's March 14th, no it's not, it's the 15th now, it's March 15th and I read one book <laughs> this month, that is awful. I just haven't really been in a reading mood and I've just had stuff on. So hopefully crack on today and try and do as much reading as possible of The Guilty Friend. Hopefully I'll finish it and then soon I'm planning to start the Twilight series and read it for the first time. I'm debating kind of like recording or making a video of my experience reading it because I feel like I watched someone else's video of them reading it for the first time and their reaction was just so funny. So I was like, I'm kind of tempted to do that myself just so that along the way if I ever read something that I'm just like cringing at or whatever I could like film it and <laughs> compile it into a video just to so I can rant, have somebody to rant to because normally if I'm reading a book that I don't agree with or has a lot of like really cringy moments I just sit and I'll stop reading and I'll just like rant to my mum about it and she really doesn't care so game plan for today, read lots keep reading and if you want to do something else just don't, just keep reading I have changed into my workout clothes because I'm trying to exercise every day now I give myself one day off a week, so I'm trying to keep fit for the summer. But every morning I start off my day with a, I'm treating this like it's a day of my life all of a sudden, but I always like to start off with a glass of orange juice and a banana. And the sun is shining, so that's great. The guilty friend. Three close friends. One of them is dead. One of us is lying. One of us is crying. I'm on chapter 8, page 54. I think there's about 350 pages on it, so maybe hopefully get this done today. Full fathom 5, thy father lies. Full fathom 5, thy father lies. Hello, are you here to keep me company? Are you here to keep me company? Yeah? 
I'm in chapter 15, page 100. I like why. Um, enjoying it. I'm actually quite enjoying this book. It's pretty good so far. Characters are okay. I'm kind of like waiting for what the plot is going to be. I don't really know. Nothing's really happened much, but oh well. So I'm going to read for a bit more. I just had a scone with butter and a cup of tea. I guess that's kind of my lunch. It was going to be my breakfast, but it's one o'clock, so it's more like my lunch, I guess. So then I'm going to do some exercises soon. <laughs> so at least I've read 50 pages, so that's a good start. It's okay. You see my dog? There he is. It is now two o'clock. I'm a good wee chunk of the way through. Page 142. Doing well. I, I like this book. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. The reason why I hadn't read much of it before was because it has a bit of a slow pace. I don't know why. I must have thought it was more of like a gonna be a bit of a mystery slash thriller, but I guess it's it's not really. It's kind of, I don't know. I don't know what I would call it. I will just quickly let you see the back. You can pause it if you want to read that. But it was, um, it's okay. Yeah, it is, it is okay. I think I'm just kind of waiting for stuff to happen, more dramatic stuff. We have one character that is deceased who was suffering from anorexia. We have another character who is now suffering from anorexia. But apart from that, it's a lovely Sunday read. <laughs> I really need to start exercising soon. It's already three o'clock. I just had tea and a muffin, so I'm gonna have to work that off. Then crack on with some more reading. Let's get physical, physical. <laughs> Pan. <laughs> I love this movie. Empty. That's so good. It's only make believe, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's delectable. I am mm, making some progress. So I'm getting there. Well, I've tried. What's he doing? Sorry. He's just kicked off. Oh. Do you like them all? Cloud and possibly some rain across the. It is now quarter to eleven. Time has escaped me. I've got some grapes. Still reading. I really hope I could actually finish this tonight. I've not got an awful lot to go now, so I'm quite pleased. <laughs> I'm on page two hundred and thirty-one, so that's quite good considering I started on page fifty. <laughs> But I'm hopefully going to get this finished tonight. I It's actually a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Because I was initially, when I first read the summary, I was like, oh, is this some sort of like murder mystery? But it's not. It's not. I'll probably do a review on this. Like I said, it's, it's a lot different than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a, some sort of murder mystery when it's like one friend is dead and one of them had a part to play in her death and I genuinely thought like one character had killed the other but that's not the case but I am excited to see 
how how it plays out just what kind of happens near the end but i'll maybe do a review on this but then it's one of those books that i feel like it's going to be hard to kind of do a review on without giving away too many spoilers what well, we shall see i'm just going to crack on reading hopefully I'll get this finished tonight and then maybe start something new tomorrow maybe i'll start my twilight journey i knew i wanted to read the twilight books this year because i have not ever read them and i have had the set for years and I figured, what better way, to, because I set myself a reading goal of 40 books this year, what better way than to like, I'm going to reread the Harry Potters, read Twilight for the first time, the series, and then I feel like I might also reread the Hunger Games, because there's a new one coming out. And I actually have never finished Mockingjay, I got like three quarters of the way through, and I honestly couldn't really remember Mockingjay at all, so I will probably reread them as well. So then that's a good few books to add to my list of 40 books to read. My family is away to bed. It's 11 o'clock. And I'm still reading. Page 237. Chapter 33. That's good. I really want to know where this is going to go. What's going to happen. Are we all going to live happily ever after? I need to have a successful reading vlog and actually finish something. This is only my second book of March. The hell? That's terrible. So it is now quarter to 12. And I already filmed my outro to say that I was going to bed, but um, things just got a little bit interesting. Or at least, I don't know, it's just kind of progressing. And I'm near the end now. I have about 30 pages to go. So I feel like I could probably just finish this in the next 50 minutes or so while I'm down here. And then I'll get ready for bed. <laughs> I was planning to finish this in bed, but I'm just so kind of grouped by it. And every time a chapter I finish, like I'm the sort of reader that I'll stop once I get to like a chapter's end or once I finish a chapter but then sometimes the chapter will end at an unsatisfying point or at a, a cliffhanger and you just want to read the next chapter so then I end up reading it and then before I know it I've read more chapters and I'm like I'll stop at the next chapter but never do so I was officially planning on going to bed and finishing it up there but you know what I'm just gonna sit down here and finish it here it's going good but it's also a little bit depressing Anorexia is horrific. <laughs> Jesus. God, I'm on the last chapter. The epilogue. It is 10 past 12. But I finished. I finished it. Thank God. I may possibly do a review on this book. I don't know though. I mean, I don't really have a lot to say. It was good i'd probably give it a three maybe three out of five four out of five the characters were fine i don't know maybe the fact that i literally thought this was going to be some sort of like murder mystery like friends killing friends <laughs> but it's not the killer so to speak was anorexia so that was a little unexpected but also quite sad quite sad to read anorexia is one of those things that unless you're going through it yourself you just can't really understand it like i just can't imagine going through that feeling that way about yourself not what i was expecting also pretty good yeah i'd probably give it like a th three maybe a four four stars is like my kind of average rating that i give to most books if it's good but maybe there was a few things i didn't like three stars is when i think like a book's just kind of average two stars i really give two stars and i don't think i ever have given a book one star i just feel like one star is a bit harsh it would have to be it would have to be absolute garbage for me to give one star like i feel like it would have to be poorly written and with really cringy one-dimensional characters etc etc and a really shitty plot for me to give some one star Finally, I finished another book in March, so thank you for watching this little reading vlog, and I shall maybe see you next Sunday, or maybe see you through the week if I film anything else. We shall see. Good night. <laughs>